Hi, today I'm going to show you how to edit your front page. So once you've logged in, you'll be presented with your dashboard. We're just going to hover over pages and click on all pages. Once we uh, once the page is loaded, these are all the pages that we have on your website. And as you can see, we've got gadgets and gizmos, oh my, and it's been allocated as your front page. So next, next to front page, you'll see it says Elementor. Now that is the page builder we use to develop your site. So what we're going to do is we need to edit it with Elementor. So now there's two ways that we can edit your front page with Elementor. One is we could just click there. Or the other way is we can just click on Edit. And once that page loads, we will then just click on the big blue button in the middle that says Edit with Elementor. All right. Then the page will load. I have the page preloaded for us already here. And as you can see, it is it just looks like your front your front page. So starting from the top, this section here that get uh, when we hover over, you see header. That is your header where you can change your menu and your search functions and that, which, as you said, you like it. So we don't really need to worry too much about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to just say we're going to change this background image here. So everything works with rows. So if we scroll to the very bottom quickly, you'll see here, if we push this little plus here, you see everything works with a row. So we've got one row, then we've got a row with two columns, a row with three columns, four columns, and you can see they, they uh, have different uh, uh, widths and everything. So if we come to the top here, this purple, uh, this purple uh, toggle here is the for that row. Everything within this row is underneath here, which is a slider. So once I clicked on it, you see on the left hand side, it changes. Now we've got some options where we can change the height if we wanted to. So you could make it bigger. Well, this was currently at 605. So let's put it back at 605. Then if we want to change the wording, then we just click on this slide here and go to content. And there is the wording there. So we could say work smarter, not harder um, is better. And as you can see right in front of you here, it has appeared. Oh, let's put this back. Sorry, it has appeared in the, on your screen there. So let's just take that out, go back to content, delete that. And then you've got a little blurb underneath, which again, you can just type your description in. And then you've got a link. So we've linked it to the shop. That's why it says shop all. And then when, the, uh, when someone clicks on the button or the slide, because we've got just underneath that, it says, uh, uh, apply link on we've got it the whole side or button only we've assigned it to be the entire slide and then if you want to change the background in the slide section here we'll just change the background here and then you just click on the image we could either use an image that is in our media library already or we could just upload an image from your computer somewhere that you if you've got a new image that you would like to use so if we go back to media, let's just use this one here, for example, and we click select. And as you can see, it will fade into that image, just like that. It will take some time, but there you go, it fades into it, just like that. And then to, to apply that to the front end, so the users can see, all you've got to do is at the bottom here, click update. I am just going to reload the page and then that uh, change will be cancelled. The loading of this depends on uh, the speed of your internet. So then we just scroll down a little bit. As you can see, we've got another row, but we've got widgets. Now on the left hand side here, you'll see these are your widgets here. So we can go if we just drag a header in, we can just put it there. And as you can see, the news, the new items is got an is with is built with a heading also as you can see there right then to get rid of it we're just going to right click and go delete so let's say we want to change this to um, latest items again you just click on it like you did with the top section and you're on your right on your left hand side here you'll just type in here uh, new new products for example there we go just like that if we wanted to add a link to it, we can put a link in. If we want to centerize it, we can, we can change the style. We just preferred it to the left, so that's what uh, that's how we had it. If we just scroll down a little bit, these are your products. So now this has got a lot more configurations to it. We've got your layouts being full size of the image. 
Then we've got the, the button, see, we can change the layout of the button and the title. So we can go overlay. So we'll just let that load, as you can see, and then when they hover over, it goes like that. Doesn't really indicate too much it's a product or something, so that's why we just put it under. There are other options that you can go and play around with. So it depends what how you, uh, how you want it. So we've got a number a number of columns. So if we go four columns, uh, sorry five columns, you see it's added it's added another column there, but it's not added a product. So to add that, what you've got to do is you've got to scroll down here to product query, and then you scroll down a little bit and you see maximum products. We'll just take that out and make it five, and then it will load five. Give the system a chance to set. See, just like that. So now that really depends on what you would like. We had it set to four, and as you can see, we put four columns and it goes to the, the fifth item goes to the bottom. And the reason why I suggested, well, the reason why I put it as four is so that the images don't get too uh, like squashed. So that it's, you can see the images are, mu uh, are much better. All right, then we've got the labels. So we've got show label, which if we turn that off, that'll be basically, uh, just watch it, that'll be any labels. I think we've got the labels turned off here. So if we turn all of these functions on here, you'll be able to see what options. As you can see, here we go here. So if we short description off, category off, show rating, SQU, just like that, we literally only want it to show the image, the regular price, the show, uh, show price, uh, a sale, that'll be, show regular price, sorry, is the 520, and then the show price is meant to be the sale price. So if anything's on sale, then it will show that too. And obviously we want it to show the title of the product. Then you don't really need to worry about these sections here. You're just going to come down to the post queries again, and then this is the term that you want to do. So now we could have it show different categories if we wanted to. So what we've got it showing is all categories and everything that's published. So if you draft an item or trash an item or just an item out of stock, it will only show those items there. The order is random. So every time someone comes back to the website, the items will be different. Now we can go uh, uh, sort uh, sort by direction, we can go default, or if you want it to be uh, descending, which is uh, Z at the front, A at the bottom, or you can have it uh, ascending, which is running A, B, C, D. As you can see here, E, M. So it's entirely up to you. We'll just go default, because we want it as random. There you go. To scroll down a little bit, We'll come to the next row. This is what we call a call out, but uh, call out function. So now this is a little bit different to the slider at the top. If we go, if we click on the the row and we go style, you'll see that the image is actually the as a background. So again, you will just click on that, and then you will just upload your image or select one from the media I, uh, file. Then you can see here's the column here. We'll just click there. As you can see, it's a heading again find everything you are wanting you can just type in there um, from this website and as you can see it uh, it appears right in front of you all right same thing with the button hover on the button we've got it linking to the shop if you wanted to change the, uh, the, uh, the color of the button you'll just go to style then you'll go here color and then you can just change the color. It's a drag and drop feature if you want. And then you can also do the hover. So let's just go the background color. We have it white. Let's make it red. And then as you can see, when we hover over, it goes red. All right. We'll just put that back to white. And there we go. All right. Scrolling down a bit. Again, this is a, uh, a product. This is a carousel for, product, uh, for your products. Again, basic same thing. Uh, uh, same uh, um I concept in the, in truth as to this one just settings are a little bit different because it's a different widget so if we scroll down here we've got some other items uh, change on click uh, mouse drag touch drag mouse uh, wheel control which you know if you've got a little mouse it's got that wheel on the top so you can go play around with any settings that, uh, if you want to change it the buttons down here we can show here we can show uh, uh, show button on hover so we'll scroll out this and then it goes like this 
which we, I don't like. I like to let them see it, to get let the user see it. Because remember, you think about your mobile function, you're not really gonna hover over in your mobile, you're gonna just scroll. So we've got the we've got the layout. We've got the layout, as you can see, show category, we've got turned off, show product button, we've got turned off, show rating, show intro, show quantity increment, we've got it turned off. All right, but you can activate any of those as you wish. Scrolling down again, this is, again, one row, but it's got three columns. So the way I achieve this layout with the one image being smaller than the other is literally by changing the width of the column, just like that, as you can see. So we could do it like that if we wanted. So that is the way that I change. The images are exactly the same size. The only difference is, is that I changed the width uh, of these two columns together. And again, if we click on the image, you'll see it's an edit uh, edit image, and we'll just click uh, click on the image. And again, we can we can upload from the media or upload the uh, from our computer. Coming to the last section here, we've got the uh, again a heading as you can see there and then we've got a text function here now this text item here is is rather it looks like it's 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 a word document as you can see here. if we click on the toggle we've got these uh, center functions we've got bold and all of that i would advise to ignore that reason is, is because if we for example let's say we put this in the center Okay, as you can see on the right hand side here, it is in the center, right? Then we, if we go to the style function and we try to line it here on the left, it actually doesn't do anything as you can see there. It doesn't change anything because we've, con we've told the system to centerize it here. All right, so to get rid of that, you'd have to go to the text item and take out all of this style here as you can see. So we're going to remove all of this just like that. Just like that. And then if we go to the style function again, now we'll be able to style it as you can see, we click on it. All right. So when it comes to any text documents, I'd always advise you to use uh, to just use the word in here. Sorry, uh, use it, uh, type your wording in and then anything else you come to style, then you can go to typography and then there's all your font and uh, font sizes, font that you want to use, anything like that. But that is how you would edit your front page. The beauty of it is, is that editing with Elementor is the same throughout the entire website. So it's a really beautiful platform to use. Uh, if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to email me at support at hostfatty.com. But making the changes, I think you'll be more than capable to do it after watching this video.